It was always going. <coughs> uh, so this is uh, answers to some other diagrams that uh, I couldn't record earlier. And um, basically, my other goal about hamsters too, what I mean about hamsters is uh, basically looking at Mickey Mouse and I'm looking at the anal smells, you know, and the cheese smells of the hand when it has too much cheese and it's just, I'm funky monkey, I gotta go get cheese. That's not sexy. And um, <clears throat> you can't have something that is just getting just cheese and does not have the body part. You know, you, you, you can't just be like a monkey. I mean, <clears throat> you can't be like a you know monkey or hamster, whatever you want to call it. You know, a hamster or a mouse. You know that is like this all the time, and um, you know because your hand will be like it wants ham. You know, and it won't have um, a certain. You know, it'll be like lickety splat. You know, or lickety spat. You know, or something. I mean, just the way that is. I mean, it's different than, you know, another way to do it. I mean, it's, you know, this should be really tickly, too. I mean, you should really be able to pick up on those senses. Then we have uh, some other stuff. Uh, I don't know how, why it's important. You know, brought to you by Shade Pistols. And it's uh, just, it's just how to have uh, basically like your own self-defense we weapon pistol. Well, it's just from showing that you're, um, you're there. Um, I always have my toenails usually painted because I think the social element of having, you know, glitter, you know, is like really uh, kind of shocking, you know, and only so many people can have it. And um, just that it's there, you know. Um, I think that if, if, if that's hidden, you know, and there's like that little taste of a uh, regular finger here, you know, hidden secretly encased. And you can tell how, you know, someone could easily swap that flavor of the finger, you know, for, um, you know, maybe some uh, paint and maybe some like glitter sprinkles, you know, to look at with the reflections and, you know, maybe even the chance to taste you know what a candy coated apple would taste like you know and then you can see it on there you know or not and one thing I learned from that was the fact that uh, you know when someone gets shot or killed or something usually they have to go into another body and another appearance um, and kind of accept the movements of it and because of that rule you know, um, having toenail polish, um, or just having feet at all, you know, um, kind of is like having a concealed self-defense weapon, except I don't think that's really irrelevant, you know, um, when you look at, um, just to not show an area, you're supposed to be able to store information that way. And, um, you know, it's kind of, area tucked and then show go there to embrace the pistol it's supposed to be a floor motion it's supposed to be like closer in here and further out here not like far as it can get I'm fat hamster in space and cannot eat anything and then another part here is so obvious lack of definition of body language would signify the food is two peoples that don't define us with and it's just that um, if you don't look at it directly because you have to look at feet I mean, when someone has feet you have to look at them. You have to be them. You have to move them. And just how that kind of separates that feeling. You know, how something can be um, not symmetrical because you can't see it. You know. <clears throat> so there has to be some kind of data being stored here. And uh, do not wash by forgetting something important to f fire or something and it's just that you know once it's not noticed um, it will not be clean you know and that means that something isn't working you know these are homeless but do represent for you and then um, you know here we have um, just basically uh, still weight and how you know an object can blow another object and how 
you know, like if something's sitting here in a pile, I can just. There's also another counter physics to where somehow. I mean, it still has to go by my physic. I mean, if I can blow with my force that way, you know, there's also got to be some kind of way that that force can blow back, you know. So I'll actually know how to do it, but somehow, you know, you know, this dollar right here, you know, can actually, you know, like blow me away, you know, by staying there, you know, but the point of that is, is that the wind actually is coming from the dollar, you know, like it's, it's blowing at me because it does not fall. So that would be like some kind of pressure. And in the same way, you know, how someone can come to you, you know, someone can also leave, you know, as well. You know. And also have the physic of, um, a nail.